Today we're thrifting at St. Vincent de Paula, another thrift store. Usually my videos are at Goodwill, but I wanted to show you one of my favorite uh, thrift stores to go to on the weekend when I have time. Usually when I get off work, this place is closed, uh, so I don't get a chance to thrift here often, but I do like to come here. Um, it's got a huge selection and it's well organized. Um, here to the right is the showcase and the premium, I'll call it the premium areas. This is where they put their nicer stuff uh, and they charge up for it. This is not cheap. I don't buy from this section. You can see they have a ton of brand new with tags, logo athletic, 90s sports apparel in here. They must have uh, got somebody who donated a bunch of things from the 90s, but they're charging what you pretty much will get on eBay for it. So there's no third of the price. I probably would have bought everything in this room if it was a third of the price. Um, since they're charging uh, retail eBay price, there's no way I'm even considering it. But it's kind of cool to see all the nice prints. Um, there was no uh, splash or uh, other type of jackets. Here's this Pendleton sweater. You can see they want 30 bucks for it. Or flannel, I should say. Um, bunch of coats, fur coats, nice things. These are things you won't find on the racks because they definitely put it in here. But it doesn't mean they don't know what's nice and won't put it on the rack. So always keep your uh, always go into the store and look because you don't know what they know. They don't know what you know, um, and you can find a good deal. Start with this every time you come here. There's 25% off, 50% off, and 99 cents off or 99 cents. So every week they switch the color and they rotate their inventory. So go around looking for the orange tags today, and you'll get it for a buck. Um, now I'll say, people have already bought all the really good stuff, <clears throat> but there's times where they put stuff on the floor that is overpriced, that they're charging tremendous amount. Think of uh, $40 for a pair of Levi's or something ridiculous, $25. Nobody bought it, but you might get it at 50% off or a dollar. Um, so you wanna be uh, on the lookout to make sure you can find a pair like that. Um, but it is kinda looking for a needle in a haystack. Because uh, there are other resellers just like you looking for that same deal. Um, so just be aware of that. But I start in the ladies' jeans just because it's kind of close to the carts. Um, in the back corner is where they keep all the uh, dollar clearance items that they're getting rid of. So I'm coming here to check. Um, every now and again you can find something for a dollar that's just worth picking up. Because I have a swap meet booth, picking up stuff for a dollar uh, does not hurt me. I can easily sell anything almost at the swap meet for $2, um, but I'm looking for stuff that I can sell even higher than that or put into my eBay store. Now I'll say it's this, like that um, safety vest actually might have been able to be something I could have sold for more. I just didn't feel like looking it up. But I'm just checking for anything and everything. Pants, every section is in here, you name it. Not a whole lot though, it's been picked through as expected. The orange tags that you'll probably find that will be more valuable are out on the racks. Here's a Columbia jacket, but it's got some type of stitching on it that's not um, highly desirable. Uh, the thrift store has some good breakout rooms. Uh, they're very themed, um, which helps you if you're looking for a very particular item. I think the room we're about to go into is like the quilts and beddings and uh, material and they got women's hats up top. Um, oh, this is the bedding and material and drapes room. Um, in here is sports equipment. You can see these guys are looking through the sports equipment. Just checking to see if there's anything. I have not found their prices to be too great in the sports equipment area. Um, so I just do a really quick pass through. You can see the toy stuffed animals on the side. <clears throat> I'm primarily here for the shirts uh, today. They keep shoes on the racks above. So if you're a shoe person, you got to go to the racks above the shirts. Um, but here it's time to flip. It's time to see what we can find. Um, I'm still being picky about my shirts I don't have that much uh, hanger space so I want really good shirts to put in my eBay store uh, that are gonna sell 
faster. Uh, no more shirts that are 20% sell-throughs that take forever to sell. Um, I have enough of those. It's time to get those moving uh, and get some better shirts in. As you resell, uh, it's always better to keep improving. Just slow increments, but don't worry if you make mistakes, it's okay. That's how you learn. That's how you ingrain in yourself not to do it again. You just don't want to do it in such a bulk concept that you really pay the price or you put yourself out of business doing a bad decision. Um, so definitely take your time um, and d don't be afraid to make mistakes. Here I find a Levi's Hawaiian shirt with tags. Um, and this is a unique uh, type of Hawaiian shirt. You might not be familiar with it. They wanted $12.99. I believe that was the half off price so I would get it for half of that and it looks faded on the outside but what it is it's called a reverse print Hawaiian shirt so if it looks faded on the outside but the, on the inside it looks like the normal print it's called a reverse print Hawaiian uh, shirt those are actually desirable people do like those Levi's is a good brand and Hawaiian plus tags that for six dollars is worth it to me and agreed for $12.99, totally was not going to pick that up. Um, so that's the kind of thing I'm looking for today is those kind of decisions that other resellers passed on, but it's still a good shirt. There was a lot of defects today in the shirts. They do put shirts out with defects. So you got to do your uh, thorough quality control here. Uh, make sure I sh I'm still second guessing that LL Bean uh, flannel. Some odd coloring, but uh, it did stand out. I just couldn't find where it had a really high sell through. But yeah, it's a grind to get through here. You gotta just keep going one by one. Um, oh, here's something. I've never seen a shirt like this, so I pull it out. And this is a fishing shirt, right? So this is. Um, comps came up really good on this so let me show you so this is a pelagic eclipse guide shirt pro fishing performance xl light blue um, and it had a hundred percent sell through rate i was shocked to find something like this in the midst uh, and i listed it for 34.99 and as you go through it's okay uh, you're not in any rush look up things as you go uh, make sure it's the right for your uh, decision for your business. You want to verify and validate the sales, uh, not only the dollars uh, that you're going to get because you're going to sink dollars, but then you want to get dollars back and then you don't want to wait forever to get those dollars back. Um, so make sure that it does sell and it sells good. Um, so you see 30 results there and then uh, 39 results sold. So. It uh, had a 100% sell-through rate. It was selling for decent money. Uh, it was an easy pickup. But I'll talk about a mistake I made from that here in a minute. Uh, because of that, it caused me into another uh, error on my part of how I was thinking about shirts. Um, so I'll wait till we get to the shirt that caused it uh, to let you know about that. I'm going to share some what sold uh, recently this Roar black shirt uh, for $19. I got $3 at a yard sale. What about this double rainbow work shirt? Um, I found two things for the brand, but back in the 90s when we wore skate pants, I was always buying work shirts uh, from Automotive or whatever to go with my uh, look. Does that sell today? I was thinking about picking it up. This Quicksilver Silver Edition uh, shirt sold for uh, $18.99. I bought it for $5.99. It took about a week to sell. The Quicksilver Waterman Collection does well for me. I sold this one. It was only for $11.25, but I had it forever. Uh, the other one sold within 30 days in the $20 price point. I sold this Dixon Jenkins shirt uh, for $20. Bucks, bought it for $1. I had it listed for $34.99 for a while, but I took an offer uh, to get my sales up. Do you guys ever take offers uh, that are lower than your asking price just to get your sales up? Uh, sometimes I feel like you go and you uh, don't take an offer. Uh, you get punished by the system for declining. Oh, what's this? Another fishing shirt. Same brand as the one we looked up. We already know it's got 100% sell through and it's camouflage. I think this is more desirable print than the other one. Instant pickup. 
Uh, no regrets. All right, it's time to source the pants. I recently sold these Adriana Goldschmied uh, pants for $25. Sometimes they sell upwards of $35. I took an offer on this one uh, just to get things moving in my store. Uh, what else do I look for in the thrift? These Echo uh, jeans, $50 sold. That's not with the shipping. Like They, tr they paid more for shipping. Um, but that baggy 90s, uh, 2000s straight leg look is in right now. Be on the lookout for those kind of jeans because I grew up skateboarding. It's just I have an eye for those things because um, that was my style in the 90s. Um, but it's been doing really well for me. I am super hyped uh, when I find those jeans. I'll pay upwards of $15 to $20 uh, for the right pair of jeans because uh, I know that the price points can be in the $40 to $50 range. Um, but also, it, don't sleep on Adriano uh, Goldschmied either. Those jeans sell well for me and have a good sell-through. All right, another side room here. They got their hats. I'm definitely looking for um, any type of hat I can flip. Uh, you can see something uh, pushed down that hat there. It was not me. I didn't touch it. Um, there's a railroad cap there. There's a bunch of different sports athletic hats. Um, I'm still being picky about the hats. I like to sell hats, but I like to sell hats in the $20 range, not the $12 to $8 range. Um, so I'm being more picky about what I pick up. Um, and also they have winter gloves here. Be on the lookout for winter gloves. Um, even not in the winter. Uh, it's winter somewhere. Um, but the really good winter gloves, look them up. Uh, they can be in the $20 to $30 range. Uh, some jackets here. Checking uh, to see if they're worth looking at. They're kind of the lighter jackets that are more common. Uh, back here they seem to put their sweatshirts and jackets. Um, and then there's a sunglasses section. I haven't gotten into the glasses, sunglasses yet as much. I want to break into it, but I'm not going to buy them at thrift stores. I would rather make a deal with a tow truck company. If you didn't know, tow truck companies, when they pick up cars and they have to get rid of all their stuff, they have to take those glasses, the tools, whatever they find in there, and offload them. Sometimes they just throw them away. Sometimes they have resellers that uh, work with them to buy bulk. Uh, or give them $6 per corded uh, tool. Um, so go to your local tow truck company and say, what do you do with all the stuff you get? Can I be? Can I pay you for some of this in bulk? Try to make a deal. So that's your tip for the day. That's the golden nugget. Um, I've talked to a few tow truck drivers that have come to my booth at the swap meet, and they told me all of how their business and operations work and how they try to uh, get rid of stuff. So... Um, make those relationships work for you. Um, over here in the jackets, it's a little bit bright. Sorry about the, the sun coming in there. Um, but I'm looking for uh, good jackets that have a high sell through. Okay, we're in entering their kitchen and housewares uh, section. A lot of times I'm just looking for mug life type stuff. Uh, any type of mug that resells in the $20 range. Um, I usually don't find much of anything. Uh, things I've sourced here in the past, some of them are still sitting in my store. Um, so mugs are kind of finicky. I think it's a good, safe thing to start and practice on uh, for upping your sell-through rate and uh, finding out what sells or doesn't sell. But I limited myself to two shelves on a, on a bookshelf uh, as how many mugs I can have in my store at one time. And that keeps me from making uh, bigger mistakes and having a thousand million mugs that don't sell um, that would cost me more to just go dispose of it than to uh, just leave it on the shelf at the thrift store. Um, don't be in a rush to lose your money. Um, but that's a safe bet and it's a low dollar bet uh, to get better at selling things. And most mugs you should leave behind, to be fair. I won't bore you with a ton of uh, slow footage in the media section, but I do come here looking for VHS, CDs, um, all kinds of things. But my goal is to find something that's on sale, uh, that is highly uh, sellable, sells for a lot of money, and uh, I can put in my eBay store. Um, it takes a long time to learn this kind of media, to be able to look at just the bindings or pull them out individually. 
Um, but I know these are heavily picked through by the time I'm coming here, so I'm looking for a really a diamond in the rough here. Um, and I always know that coming in. I recently sold this Batman soundtrack for $45. Uh, I did not pick that up at a thrift store. I bought it at a local record shop, uh, The Cave, and I think I bought it in the $20 range and sold it for $45. Uh, you might have seen my video where I bought this baby kids for a dollar at the denial swap meet sold it for 17 I'll even show uh, what not to do that I bought this bad or this bad company record was in a, a bulk storage unit uh, I got four dollars I want really wanted ten sold this John Denver for seven um, my goal was to have ten or above records listed uh, this Leonard Skinner actually hit above the ten dollars so this is what I want to do uh, for twelve dollars Records are really hard to come by, so you got to be creative of how you get a collection. But um, I would sell at the swap meet any record under $10 in the future because I could probably get uh, upwards of $5 per record, if not 2 to $3 easily, and not have to wait or split the difference with. Because it takes a while to uh, list a record, it's a lot of photos, and then you got to package it. So you want to at least make. Uh, I would even go as far as to say $15 to $20 per record profit. I'm checking out the cookbooks, just seeing if there's any old cookbooks uh, in here. Here's their electronics room. There's a lot to look at. I'm not a big electronics guy. I don't like testing it. I don't like spending the time. Uh, that's what I'm short on when you have a full-time job and you resell on the side. Time is what you don't have. Um, so testing things is really hard for me. I try to stay away from it as much as possible. If it takes up a lot of volume, I'm out of my garage only. So that I'm also trying to stay away from. Um, so if it's new in the box, sealed, I'll look it up. Uh, other than that, it's a, it's got to be really spectacular for me to pick it up. Um, this is more your like home uh, furnishings and picture frames. Nothing really of note in here. Not something I source. I did recently set... Uh, mail a picture uh, frame out that had Olympic pins in it. Um, I had to go buy a TV box from Home Depot. The box alone cost me $30. Um, so I have to find a better way to pool noodle box my stuff. Uh, so I'm not paying $30 in shipping cost on something that I probably making almost no money after it's all said and done. Um, up here on the top is the, uh, like votives, candles, different things like that. Always looking out for brands like Glassy Baby or something just unique. Um, I stay away from golf bags. Uh, all that stuff below, it's bulk. I don't want to ship bulk. I don't have room for bulk. Um, and there's a lot of local people who sell all that right on Facebook Marketplace. I don't have a lot of sales from this section. Uh, it just doesn't sell well for me uh, when I do source it. And so... That's just it. I source better things. I like these back rooms. They're filled with furniture, art. If I was looking for my house, I'd come here and check out uh, art pieces to put in my house. Uh, fortunately, I'm full right now, but my wife's already complaining about a uh, picture in the dining room. So I got to sell that so I can get a new piece. Um, more uh, dishware. Not going to really spend a lot of time here. Uh, Easter's coming up, so start thinking about Easter. Um, right is a bulk collection of snow bunnies. Uh, I don't know if they're valuable. They're all labeled like $9.99. It's best just to look it up because if you can buy a lot of something, uh, that's definitely more helpful in getting about 30% usually sell in the first month. Um, but I'm finding that they're worth like $12.99, very low dollars. Definitely moving on. Here's the toy aisle. Um, I like the bag toys, uh, especially if they get lots of them. Uh, there's some, um, Corvette kits and different things, uh, they really are asking uh, about the same price as a brand new box on eBay. So passing that up. But I like bulk toys, all same types, monster trucks. Uh, different things sell well for me in this section. We're going to continue our shirt uh, hunt here in a second. We're also looking at shoes. Going down for the shirts. Western shirt, pretty plain Jane. Trying to find just something that's different. 
casino shirt. That's a Sacramento chapter shirt, but it had a cool racing vibe to it. Nothing's popping out. These are all polos, so I'm looking for kind of stellar polos because polos don't sell for a high dollar. Um, so either I want it 99 cents or I want it uh, to be something that's not like anything else. A lot of stains. Oh, that golf shirt looked nice until it had stains on the stomach. All right, let's talk about this shirt. This is a single stitched uh, 90s shirt, good print on the back. I did not pick this up. Would you have picked this up? I just didn't think it was that good to pick up, but I know people sell shirts like this between 30 and $50. I just didn't think I would be able to. Let me know in the comments if you would have picked that up and that was a miss on my part. Because uh, those are the things that we should be looking out for is that single stitch. Uh, anything older and rarer. Um, but if it had a big old howling wolf or some type of wolf on the front, you know I would have picked it up. But that one was a moose uh, and it was kind of small. I didn't think it was that stellar enough to pick up. Let me know if you agree. Alright, here's an interesting find coming up. Uh, remember orange tags? Everything's 99 cents on the orange tags. There's a Tommy Bahama polo, 99 cents, um, was $4.99. It didn't have many flaws on it, but it wasn't outstanding. Now for me, I'm thinking no matter what in my uh, swap meet uh, type flea market selling, I can sell for two bucks. Um, but I will say I never listed that in my eBay store. It had fading around the collar. I should have been better in my quality control. I probably should have just left that at the store, um, but I'll at least get my dollar back on it uh, and move on from that purchase. But just the thoughts to put everything out there. Uh, this is a safe space to make errors. Um, I hope you find that I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to tell you how I'm thinking about things, how when I mess up, how I mess up, what's the impacts of uh, that mistake, and then what am I gonna do next time going into the future to not make that mistake. And then if you share stuff in the comments below as well, we can all learn uh, and just get a little bit better each time um, become better resellers. Because um, quality control and how you do the business is most of this, but finding what to find changes with time. So you still got to be good at uh, what are the current trends, doing the current research. And you never stop researching uh, or you're going to be selling Beanie Baby, Beanie Baby still and wondering why you're going out of business. Um, it's just not that lucrative to be in the Beanie Baby business anymore. All right, we're about to come up on some new territory for me. I found a Carhartt long sleeve shirt. Carhartt's selling really well right now. Uh, everybody likes this shirt. That was the 25% off color of the week. Um, so it's 25% off $5. Would you buy this shirt uh, to sell online? I listed it. Uh, prices, you know, you can see it, $14.99. I'm not sure I would do this again, um, but it is a nice shirt, well made, and I'm just going to see how fast the sell through is on this. All right, it's time to dime myself out. I can't remember where I picked this up within the store, but I did pick it up. It's a Real Legends Men's Fish Scale Button uh, Long Sleeve Fishing Shirt. I thought it was just going to be like the other fishing shirts. 100% sell through. I didn't even quality control this shirt. It had marks. It does not have 100% sell through. It has like a 5% sell through. I was really bummed to find that out when I got home. Uh, I didn't pay too much for it. I think I paid about five bucks, but still uh, quality control and looking it up. Each brand, they're not all the same. Even within brands, you gotta look stuff up. Um, my bad. I'm still gonna try to sell it though. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Always keep grinding, keep learning, have fun, and most importantly, be kind.